Now, seven weather with meteorologist Julie Durda. Overall, we were really blessed with a beautiful day. We saw a lot of sunshine and barely any rain in the rain gauge. We woke up with temperatures in the upper 60s in Miami, lower 70s, Fort Lauderdale and Key West. Our official highs were in the lower 80s, right where they should be this time of year. Picked up about a trace of rain in Key West, but otherwise mostly dry. Live look outside the Magic City. Absolutely gorgeous conditions here over North Bay Village. Unfortunately, we are seeing some green on the radar. And even though green is lucky for today on St. Patrick's Day, it's not so lucky for you if you're outdoors in these areas because that's bringing us some rain. We've got our northeast wind in place, bringing some low level moisture into the area. So we've got some clouds over portions of Fort Lauderdale, mainly over Executive Airport, over A1A, and a cell about to move in towards Hollywood Beach as well as Hallandale. Those showers will continue to push towards the southwest. This is the main cell I've been keeping my eyes on right here over Sweetwater, Coral Gables, Kendall, also over US 1, and that's going to continue to push towards the southwest an isolated sprinkle over portions of Homestead and Florida City. That should be the rest of the rain, though. Once it moves through and diminishes, we should stay mostly dry throughout the night and into tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the lower 70s. In Fort Lauderdale, we're looking at 74, 74 Pompano Beach, lower 70s Pembroke Pines, 72 Miccosukee, 73 Miami, 74 Key West. The winds out of the east northeast anywhere between 7 and 8 miles per hour. Coast to coast we go. Since our weather pattern has been pretty tranquil, we have high pressure in place over the southeast, keeping things quiet. Well, this is what's going on to the Pacific Northwest. This is the main story from coast to coast. We've got a storm system moving into the Pacific Northwest. The area of low pressures in Montana, and you can see all the rain and snow associated with this system. From the northern and central portions of California, they're dealing with a lot of rain, snow in the higher elevations, snow in Nevada, snow starting to move into portions of the Rockies. Let me show you what's going on. The jet stream has dipped to the south over the west coast, allowing for that cold, stormy weather to move in. It's retreated to the north throughout the Midwest. That's keeping things very warm and dry. Take a look at the temperatures currently. It is 70 degrees in Minneapolis, 72 in Atlanta, 66 in Chicago, 72 in Kansas City. We heard today that Chicago broke a record for the fifth day in a row, and record-breaking heat is going to continue throughout the Midwest and the Southeast as we go into next week. For us, we have high pressure in place that's providing for that dry air. You can see in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere. We'll have our wind flow moving in off the ocean, keeping us breezy, warm, with a slight chance of an isolated shower. Marine forecast calls for a threat of rip currents at the beaches. The bay will be at a moderate chop for you in the Keys due to the wind and seas near shore waters choppy with a small craft caution. Lows tonight in the mid to upper 60s of a nice night ahead. Highs tomorrow in the lower 80s. If you like today, you'll love tomorrow. And as we go into early next week, not much of a change. Spring begins on Tuesday. Have a great night.